Hey guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer and in today's video I have a huge, very special grocery haul to share with you. I'm gonna share with you what I got for my daughter Lily's birthday, the food for her party, her decorations, and her presents. Then I'm also gonna share with you what I picked up for our at-home Halloween party. After that, I'm gonna share with you the few things that I picked up to stock my prepper pantry. And then finally, I'll share with you what I picked up at Aldi for dinners this week, and I'll share with you a few dinner ideas. But before I get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls, and hit that red subscribe button because I share at least one big grocery haul every single month on this channel. Okay guys, so starting with my daughter's birthday items first, because that's what I'm most excited about and that's what's happening first this week. Now some of these things are a surprise. She doesn't know about them. She hasn't seen them but when it comes to the food she picked those things out. So for Lily's birthday breakfast she requested waffles so I thought these would be perfect. I got these ones at Target and the, whoops, the unicorn ones are cotton candy flavor. And then the birthday cake ones have little sprinkles in them. These look so fun. Also for her breakfast, she requested these little tiny orange juice cartons. She just loves these. In fact, all the kids do. Now, I think I forgot to mention, but you probably can tell that Lily requested a unicorn themed birthday. So there's going to be lots of unicorn things throughout the day, including the snacks. While I was at Target, I also got this really fun unicorn popcorn. And then I also got the unicorn yogurt tubes. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing for Lily's lunch on her actual birthday, but for her dinner, she requested pizza. So I picked up two of these deep dish pizzas from Walmart. If you guys haven't tried these before, they are actually really good. They come in a little, it gets all nice and crispy on the edges. For the kids, I got the pepperoni. And then for the adults, I got the supreme. And then we also have some special birthday treats. I'm going to be making a special purple punch. So for this, I'm using some pineapple juice, some grape juice, and some Sprite. Lily loves the color purple, so I'm hoping this punch is a really pretty purple color. And then this year for her birthday cake, she picked out this one from Walmart. Now, this guy was about $12, but it's so pretty. Look at the marbling on the inside. I think that is really cute. And of course, there's a little unicorn on top. To go along with this cake, I did buy a unicorn cake topper kit. So this comes with all kinds of different decorations. And I'm gonna go ahead and let Lily put these on her cake herself. She's such an artistic girl, so I think she's gonna love decorating the top of her own cake. Of course, for the cake, I got a seven candle since Lily's turning seven. And then I also got some of these sparkling birthday candles. Hopefully these work out well. And these came from the Dollar General and this cake topper kit I got on Amazon. And then to go along with the cake, Lily also picked out this unicorn sparkle ice cream. This looks really colorful. I think she's gonna love it. And this ice cream does not contain actual unicorns. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these things back in the fridge and the freezer so that they can stay good and then I can show you everything else. Okay guys, now moving on to the party items. I pretty much tried to do the same type of party decorations for each kid so it stays even. So for Lily's birthday, I did pick up the unicorn dessert plates the unicorn dinner plates, these really cute napkins. All of these came from the Dollar General. From Amazon, I picked up this really pretty unicorn banner. I think she's gonna be able to use this for her birthday decoration and in her room later. From Walmart, I just picked up some purple tablecloths. Lily loves purple, so that's what we're going with. Then from Walmart, I picked up some purple table coverings and some crepe paper. And I always like to create sort of a drop ceiling effect in the dining room for birthdays. From Target, I picked up some straws for our party punch. I also got this really fun looking pin the horn on the unicorn game. I picked up one unicorn gift bag and three rolls of unicorn wrapping paper. Uh oh. Oh yes, and we can't forget about this pinata. I think this is so pretty. I'm not sure if we even wanna bust this open. I'll leave it up to her to decide. I got this one at Walmart. 
Okay guys, now moving on to Lily's birthday presents. Most of these things either came from Amazon or from Walmart. Starting over here, I got these really cute unicorn jammies for Lily since she loves unicorns. But unfortunately, I don't think she's gonna be able to use these here in Florida, it's still in the 90s. So she's gonna hold on to these until maybe December. Maybe it'll get cold. And then for her actual birthday, I picked up this really cute unicorn dress for her to wear. This is technically a Jojo Siwa dress and it's just so cute. I know she's gonna love it. And then this guy over here, Mackenzie's actually gonna be giving Lily. This is a little sand art kit. This looks really fun. This is definitely something Lily loves since she's such an artistic girl. And then next up we have the glow in the dark marble run. And this is something that both Jackson and Griffin will be giving Lily. And I think this is something that they'll all be able to do together, hopefully. This looks really fun. I know she is going to be excited to see this. And then these next things I picked out for her specifically, we have the Crystal Flyer Hatchimal toy. This is kind of like a fairy meets a drone. So it flies in the air and twirls around. Next we have the Rainbow Corns Sweet Shake Surprise. This one actually can repeat what you say. And there's lots of other little toys in this big container. And then back over here, I have some things for a big surprise. Lily has no idea, but she's gonna be getting her own room pretty soon. Right now the girls are sharing and Lily's been bugging me to have her own room. So I got a few things for a little room makeover. As you can tell, this includes purple and unicorns, so I know she's gonna love it. And then last but not least, mom and dad got her her big girl bike. This is something she's been wanting for a long time. And of course I got her the one with purple hearts on it. Now this one also came from Walmart. This bike is purple, that's what she requested. She also requested that it have tassels on the side, so I got those. And then she was really hoping for a basket. This basket actually has some lights on the outside which are really cute. And then of course to keep her safe to go along with the bike, I also picked up a very purple helmet. Now I think this is a really cool helmet and I know she's gonna love the flip sequins on the top. That's a really cool. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna share with you everything I picked up for Halloween. We decided this year that as a family, we would just stay home and throw ourselves a little Halloween party. So I picked up some special things for that day. From Aldi, I picked up two packs of the Halloween edition Danimals. These are like a little yogurt smoothie and these ones are in the orange cream flavor. And these are so cute, you guys. Each little bottle is wearing a little Halloween costume. So I know the kids We'll get a kick out of those. Now for lunch on that day, I'm going to create a Halloween cheese and cracker board. So I picked up some really interesting Halloween cheeses at Aldi. This first one is a Transylvanian hard cheese. This one is a sage flavored cheese. I just love it, it looks green, it's kind of spooky, but it's actually really good. We tried this last year. I also got the bat cheddar and the pumpkin spice cheese. So I'll go ahead and cut some of these up, put it on a tray with these crackers, and then I also I'm going to add some pepperoni slices and some salami. So it'll be a really easy sort of snacky Halloween lunch. Now for dinner I'm going to make something really fun but super easy, and these are going to be kind of like mummy dogs where you take crescent dough and you wrap it around a hot dog, but this time instead of using regular hot dogs I'm going to use these uncured Bavarian bratwurst from Aldi. These are really good. I've never tried making them like this before, but I'm pretty sure the kids will love them. Also for Halloween, I'm gonna create a little veggie and dip tray. So I have lots of baby carrots. I have plenty of cucumbers. Then I'm also gonna be adding cherry tomatoes, some broccoli, and some cauliflower. Oh yes, and I got these adorable little bowls to put some of our, our veggies and our dip in. Now, this big bowl back here is actually a punch bowl. And so to go along with that, I also got these really cute jack-o'-lantern cups. I love that these are reusable. And then I also got some really fun paper straws to go with them. So I got one for everyone in the family. So for our Halloween punch, normally I make the green punch with sherbet in it, but I couldn't find any lime sherbet where we are. So instead, I'm making an orange Halloween punch. So for this, I'm using some orange sherbet, 
some orange juice, and some ginger ale. So you actually mix the two of these together and then you float little scoops of sherbet in the punch. It's gonna look really spooky and I think it's gonna be really tasty. Now back over here, I've got this big bag of candy just in case we have any trick-or-treaters. And I did make sure to get the candy that I don't like. That way I won't be tempted to eat any of it. Now for this party, I also picked up some really cute Halloween paper plates and some napkins. These are all from Walmart. I got some streamers to decorate. And then for our treat, we're gonna be doing DIY cupcakes. So I'm just gonna bake up some regular cupcakes and then I have some frosting and sprinkles for the kids to decorate their own cupcake. Now, my kids won't actually be going trick-or-treating this year, so I did come up with a really cute Halloween scavenger hunt for the kids to do, and they're going to use these buckets to go around the house and find the items that they need. Now, like I said, we're gonna be staying home on Halloween, but I still wanted to make it fun for the kids. So I picked up a few of these really easy costume kits. These were less than $5 each. So for Jackson, I picked up this little werewolf kit. For Griffin, I picked up the dinosaur. For Lily, of course, I got the unicorn. And Mackenzie already has a little witch costume that she's planning on wearing. Now moving on to my Aldi items. When I was there, I really tried to stock up on things I would need for dinners for the next week or so. And I got one sort of unusual item. So starting over here, I picked up this four pack of pumpkin harvest yogurt. This sounds really good. I also picked up a few pie crusts for some recipes I'm hoping to make soon. And the same goes for all of these apples. I picked up some of these ambrosia gold and some Macintosh. I'm gonna be putting together a really delicious fresh apple and walnut cake soon. So I'll need those for that recipe. And then I really tried to stock up on our favorite veggies. I got some zucchini, some mushrooms, some bell peppers. Those are gonna be for one of the dinners this week. I got some baby spinach, some asparagus, some just a couple of cucumbers. I got two different kinds of onions, plenty of garlic. And then back over here, I got some tiny little potatoes that I'm hoping to make into salt potatoes. Never made that recipe before. You have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had salt potatoes. They're supposed to get nice and crispy on the outside and sort of soft and fluffy on the inside, so hopefully those will turn out good. Back over here, I also got a big bag of pears. I got some baby spinach, a big bunch of bananas. And then back over here, I got a loaf of sourdough bread. For one of the dinners of this week, I'm gonna be making salad, soup, and sandwiches. So some sourdough bread with grilled cheese sounds really good. Then over here, I got a big pack of ground beef. That's gonna be for some Pioneer Woman Sloppy Joes. I also got some ground turkey. This is going to go into some taco soup with cornbread. I'm also making cornbread too. Of course, I got some shredded cheese to go with this recipe. I got some slices of cheese for lunches. And then to go along with the peppers, I also got some fajita meat. So, so I'm hoping to make some fajita bowls for one dinner this week too. So it'll have like rice on the bottom and then the meat and all kinds of veggies. Sounds really good, kind of like a Chipotle recipe. Then back over here, I picked up two red pillows. These were going really fast at Aldi. And I just love the little sweater look on the outside. These are gonna be perfect for Christmas. And then you guys, check this out. At Aldi today, I also found this mini sewing machine. This was only $12.99, and I'm pretty excited to give this a try. I used to sew quite often, nothing fancy, just like skirts and pillowcases and curtains, but since we moved, I haven't had a sewing machine, so hopefully this will do the trick. I also picked up some sewing scissors and a little kit that has a tape measure and all kinds of pins and thread in it. And now finally, I did go ahead and pick up a few things for my prepper pantry. Now I do have a separate video on that if you wanna check it out. I will link it down below. These are things that I wanna have on hand just in case I can't make it to the store for a while or if the stores start running out of things, I know I'll have these on hand and they'll be ready to go. 
Now from Costco, I did go ahead and get a big pack of paper towels and a big pack of toilet paper. At my Costco, they were limiting these again to just one per membership. And they also have a little board at the entrance of Costco to let you know what they were out of. So if you have the ability to stock up on a few things now, definitely I would recommend that you do. Now over here, I picked up a box of tomato paste, some tomato sauce, and some diced tomatoes. These these have been missing at my Costco for a long time. So when I saw them, I got one pack of each. And these are great for stews and chili and different kinds of soups. So I was glad to stock up on those. Also, the Alfredo sauce has been out of stock for a while too at my store. So I picked up two packages and these will stay good for at least a year. So I'll put them on my food shelf and I'll just rotate them as I need to. These make a very quick and tasty dinner. Also, I made sure to get a pack of flour. This was really hard to find a few months ago. And when they started having it back in stock, I started learning how to bake more of my own bread so I got this 12 pound pack and then you guys I am actually a huge fan of instant ramen but I haven't tried this one before so hopefully it will be good and then we have the Nutella now this is something that my daughter Lily requested this is one of her favorite foods we already have a lot of peanut butter in our food storage but none of this stuff although I don't think this is gonna last super long. I also picked up a box of my favorite almond milk. This also has a really long shelf life. So this goes in my food storage, but I use it up pretty quick. And then for the rest of the family, I decided to get this. This is basically powdered milk, and I've been told it's one of the tastiest powdered milks you can get. So I also got some plain pasta sauce and some green beans. Okay guys, that is everything in my huge grocery haul. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.